What's up, Cubs? It's Camden. And Emma. And, the, and today we're going to be talking to you about this week's upcoming events. A new club started February 28th where you can practice Spanish and learn about different cultures. It meets every Wednesday in the library from 3.40 to 4.30 and you can bring a snack. On Thursday, March 8th, there's a choir concert at 7 p.m. Also, Friday 16th is the end of third quarter. So make sure you get all your missing assignments in. That's all for today, Cubs. Now, now let's, let's get, get on, on to the episode. episode. Hi, Casey. As you know, on February 14th, we were struck with one of the worst mass shootings in U.S. history. Only a couple days after the shooting, student activists are already standing up and using the hashtag Never Again. Never Again is a student-led organization that advocates for stricter gun laws to prevent gun violence. They've held multiple rallies, demonstrations, and speeches. Um, one of the most prominent voices in the movement is high school senior Emma Gonzalez. At only 18, she's been invited on The Ellen Show, gave multiple powerful speeches at many anti-gun rallies, and according to the USA Today, has accumulated more than twice as many followers on Twitter as the NRA has in eight years. Also, many companies are cutting any sort of ties or benefits with the NRA, including Delta and United Airlines, Enterprise Hertz, MetLife, and many more. The organizers of the Women's March are holding a national walkout on March 14th at 2 or at 10 a.m. or during your second period. Talk with your second period from talk with your second period teacher for more details, and we'll have a follow up next week. We encourage all students, staff, and teachers to stay proactive and use their voices for positive change. <laughs> Bye, Casey. Hey, Casey. We're here with Miss Harborstock's SSR, and they're going to be showing us their cool talent. Let's go. <laughs> I can do anything I can. Wow, that was cool. Who do you guys nominate? Mr. Leary! Hey Cubs, it's Logan. And Theo, and we're going to get to know Casey's staff and students a little bit better. Hey, I'm here with... I'm Rondo. I'm Lady. And I'm going to ask them if they could travel anywhere, where would they go? Um, I would go to the Bahamas because it seems like it's really fun and I want to try to do some cool stuff. Where I would travel is probably um, California because like it's the beach is nice and I do lots of stuff there. Cool. Thanks, God. Hey, Casey. I'm here with Luis. Luis, if you can live in any country, where would you live? France. Cool. <laughs> hey, Teresa. If you could meet any famous celebrity, who would you meet? Weekend. Weekend. Oh. Miss Wheeler. Miss Wheeler. What's your favorite book? Uh, Sir Arthur by Herman Hess. Oh, what a good book. What a good book. <laughs> hey, Casey, I'm with... Eva. <laughs> Catherine. Charlie. Um, what's your favorite TV show? Grey's Anatomy. Do you ski or snowboard? Ski. Ooh. How about you? Do you ski or snowboard? Ski. <laughs> nice. Oh, ah, what's your favorite, what's your favorite, um, the TV show? Ah, it's, uh, The Office. Oh, what about oh, you? I met your mother. Oh, what's your favorite TV show? Oh, I'm meant for a movie. Um, <laughs> Breakfast Club. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Let's keep going. Let's keep moving. Wow, that was really cool. Glad we got to get to know some new Casey students. Hey, Cubs. It's Katie. And Maddie. And the Winter Olympics wrapped up last Sunday. Uh, Colorado was well represented in the Olympics this year. Um, Colorado won, like, nine medals in the Winter Olympics. Michaela Schiffen was gold in swallow. <laughs> Lindsey Vaughn won bronze in downhill skiing. Red Gerard won gold in freestyle snowboarding. Ariel Gold won bronze in ladies halfpipe. Alex Ferrar won silver in men's ski halfpipe. Lauren Gibbs was a push and break in ladies bobsled and piloted by Alana Myers Taylor, who won silver. Goaltender Nicole Hensley won gold for women's hockey. Thanks, guys. Hey, Cubs. We're here with some of the Olympic hopefuls, and they're going to tell us their name, their sport, how much time they put into it, and if they're going to be in the Olympics. I'm Kai. I ski race, and I ski about four times a week. A week. Do you want to be in the Olympics? Yeah, but I'm not going to be doing that. Never give up. Don't say that. <laughs> My name's Lily, and I ski race up at Eldora, and I go up about three times a week. Do you want to be in the Olympics? No. No? Okay. All right. Well. Thanks, guys.
We're wishing you a lot of luck, Olympic hopefuls. Tune in for the Oscars on March 4th. It's the 90th Academy Awards show and will take place at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Jimmy Kimmel is appearing as a host. If you don't know what the Oscars are, it's an award show where popular movies from the... I can't read that. Aerials? Previous? Hi, I'm Camden Marie Watson. I'm Felix Rudy Solomon. I'm Kai William Parker. And I'm Maya Ketterhagen Demolash. And beyond the camera, we have Logan Jonathan Dean. And today I'm going to be asking Kai and Felix what animated feature film should win um, the Oscars. Which one do you guys think you should? Well, as, as voter, I'd say that Coco or Loving Vincent would win. Um, I would go with Coco. Cool. Nice. And you guys aren't voters, Felix. No. Thanks so much, Casey. Make sure to watch the Oscars this Sunday to see the outcome. See you next week. Hey you guys, I'm Sarah and I'm Annette. For the last couple of weeks, 8th graders have been learning much more about the judicial system. In Mrs. R's class, students have, have had trials about the 1st, 2nd, 4th, and 14th Amendment. In Ms. Wartz's class, students held a trial about the abolitionist John Brown, who led the federal arsenal in Harper's Ferry, in order to end slavery. The jury is trying to decide whether he's guilty or not. As Casey Middle Schoolers, we are lucky to experience a trial because we can learn more about our government. Throughout these trials, 8th graders have been much more aware of our judicial system and how it works. Here are some pictures of Ms. Wirtz's trial. You'll see how every student has a role. Two of the most important roles in the trial are the, are the jury and the judges because the judges are the ones that in charge of everything and the jury decides the verdict. Hey Casey, have you ever wondered about the different art electives available for Casey students? Today we're going to interview Ms. Hallerstock and get some more info. Let's go! Hi Ms. Hallerstock. Hi. So what art electives do you provide for Casey students? So if you are going to be in 7th and 8th grade next year, all of the art electives are semester long and there are quite a few to choose from. There's a drawing and painting class. Um, there is Art 1, which is a little bit of two-dimensional and three-dimensional work, so drawing, painting, sculpture, clay. Um, I offer ceramics classes, so you have a chance to do ceramics only for 18 weeks, so that's a whole semester. Um, I also have 3D sculpture, so if you're into building with lots of different three-dimensional materials, that would be a good class to take. Cool. That was awesome. Thanks, Ms. Hoverstock. Be sure to sign up if you're interested in any of these art electives. Bye! What's down, Cubs? I'm Anthony. And I'm Jared. And those are some pretty cool art electives. Today we're going to be interviewing Kirsten and Max about some cool electives future 7th and 8th graders should take. Let's go. Hey, Max and Kirsten. Isn't this the time where, like, 6th and 7th graders start to choose classes for next year? Yes, Jared, you're absolutely right. Chris and I will be in, coming into classrooms pretty soon with course selection sheets for 6th and 7th graders. What are some options that 6th and 7th graders can take for next year as an elective? Alright, so um, first of all we want to make sure that all kids know that in 7th and 8th grade you have to take a PE or a movement class each semester. I mean one semester and a health class for one semester. The PE requirement, you can either take the physical education class or you could take fitness and conditioning 
or you could also take baile folklorico um, meets that physical movement uh, requirement. But in addition to those classes, we have several different languages. Um, we have our bilingual program, of course, which is a continuing elective. Eighth graders will be able to take German or Latin as well at Boulder High if they would like to, and continuing with Japanese. You want to talk about the music classes kids can take? Yeah, absolutely. So if you are in band or orchestra, we would love to see you continue because music is an amazing practice and it builds your mind and just develops your talent. We've got an awesome choir class that keeps getting uh, more and more popular every year. Also, guitar. If you want to be a future rock star, it's always great to learn the guitar. So uh, sign up for that class if you're interested. And just before you heard Ms. Haverstock talk about all the different art classes, some really cool options there. But in addition to that, we have several different computer technology classes. We have a theater class. We have um, applied science. And we have an American history through film class where you get to watch movies and analyze them every week. We have a leader leadership class that's really popular where you get to work in groups on projects and things like that. And then finally, we have an option for kids to do peer tutoring, although um, we often have too many kids, so you're not guaranteed a spot there, so we want to make sure we have an alternative. But helping out in a classroom, working with younger students is, is often really fun. you want to say something about AVID? Yeah, the AVID elective, which is available for upcoming 7th and 8th graders, we are already, we are currently accepting applications. There is an interview process, but if you would like to just boost your skills overall as a student, um, develop some skills that will get you very ready for high school and college in the future, AVID is a great program. Um, we are still, possibly still accepting applications. If you're interested, come talk to one of us, but most of our applications are, are already in for AVID. So you'll have about a week to get your form complete and signed at the bottom by your parents and turned in to the teacher from whose class you received it. Um, and at that time, we'll start to put your request into the computer and start building the schedule for next year. So it's really important you get those forms in on time. We'll talk more about the details of those classes when, you see, when we see you this week or next. Thanks so much. Thanks, Max and Kirsten. That was some really cool electives. I hope that helped you if you were deciding on some cool electives to take.